Hello YouTubers. Thought I'd give you guys a quick video of the new Aruba instant on switch that I just got. I uh, just picked this up about four or five days ago. As you can tell it's the 24 port version PoE with four 10 gigabit auto sensing SFP ports and my video today is to show you guys I like it, I really do, but it's loud. So I did put a fan mod resistor uh, that comes with the Noctua fans in there to cool it, or not to cool it, but to slow it down, but it's still loud, it's annoying. So I did go out and buy the NF A420, which is a their four pin fan to put it into the switch. I haven't put it in yet, but I'm going to be doing that in the video here. And uh, I thought I'd show you guys what it sounds like from factory without this, and then with this, and then with the new fan. Um, so far, I really like this switch. I also have the Aruba AP12 or 15 at home in my uh, uh, house here. I love it, so that's what brought me to this. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and uh, show you guys. The reason why I have an Ethernet cable connected to it is to show you that um, it'll go green saying that it's connecting to the cloud and it's all okay. One person said that the fans will ramp up if it's not connected to the cloud and it sees no network connection, which is not true. This fan on this machine is loud. So, I also have my DB meter to show you guys. So we'll go ahead, plug it in. Let it boot up. It takes a couple minutes. Okay. It's almost booted up. It's looking for the cloud. She's online. Yes, it takes about four minutes for this switch to boot up. It's long. So, it sits at about 58, 59 dB, which is quite annoying. I couldn't live with this in my room or in my rack. When you put it into a rack, it's even loud because it's now going to be suffocated. So, I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to put this on there and then uh, I'll boot it up and then I'll start the video of it in there and boot it up with the green light and show you guys and then I'll show you the DB I won't move this and then uh, we'll go from there before I go too far and plug it in I'll show you what it looks like inside here so it's just one fan pulling air out and on this side of the switch sorry is this side here it pulls air in across all the PoE power supply and the CPU and then out so there's only one fan in this machine or in this switch so that's a good thing very easy to change out two screws done okay so give me a second I will power it up okay guys we're back we've got the fan resistor in there and it's just about to come online now I did some unwrapping here, I unwrapped the uh, Noctua fan that we're going to put in next. As you can see, it's at 51 dB now, just sitting there with the resistor on there, which is still quite loud when you put it into a rack enclosure like what I have over there. I might show a picture of that after. Um, but still, it's quite annoying when you put it into your hands over it. It echoes, so it's really, really annoying. Um, one thing I did want to mention is when you buy this new fan, they usually have rails, so that way you can only push it in. It only slides in one way, so you know which way is positive and negative and stuff like that. There's a little finger that goes here. You have to cut these off on the Ruba. The Ruba uh, switch uses the rails too, but this rail right here on this one is on the outside. So you have to cut this off, and I just go like this, which makes it nice and flat. I'll do it on both sides. It goes in there flat. And obviously it only goes in way because you'll be able to see this and it just slides in there. So this fan right here should make this way quieter. So what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and change that out and show you guys. And then after that um, I'll hook up an SFP 10 gig connection and show you still how quiet it is. And uh, yeah, it's very simple to get into it. There's no security screws. There's no stickers covering any of the screws. So I can't see why it would warrant anybody's warranty. 
Um, I'm going to keep my, my fan for mine, so if I ever have to take it to warranty, I believe these have four-year warranties on them. I'd have to check that. Don't quote me. Um, but, yeah, very similar, easy to take apart. Bunch of screws, bunch of screws on the side, three on the back, bunch on the top sides here. If you rack yours with the ears on it, you have to take those off, of course, like what I have. But, uh, yeah, so give me a second here. I'm going to swap out the fan, see how that goes. Okay, we're back with the new fan in there. As you can tell, I'll be quiet for a second. You can't even hear it. It doesn't even register on my dB meter here. Low. I'm on my lowest setting, so it's below 50 dB. So, and there's lots of air coming through there, so I would say that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove the Ethernet port. It's going to start complaining. And I will install one of my trusty 104 Optics 10 gigabit uh, GBIC into here. These work great. We'll grab a SFP cable from my switch rack. Just connected at 10 gig, and this should just light up. Colors connected at 10 gig. The light down here is green. Down there, so it's green. It's got a 10 gig SFP connection to my other switch. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now all we have to do is just push this forward and put all the screws in it. Um, I'm going to look inside of it and see if I can put some kind of spacer to push the fan over. I didn't know if they had, uh, if they have wider, thicker Noctua fans, but uh, that's something I will look for later on. Maybe I'll grab a new one, but it's going to show you how loud the actual switch really is. And, uh, Say thumbs up, HP made a great switch, other than the fans. Maybe their new firmware version later on in the future will make them quiet, because uh, these are directly competing with uh, SMB and Unify stuff, so they should be quiet. I mean, there's no reason why these fans are, and these switches should wrap up if they're under load, but as you can tell, there's no load. That shouldn't be really loud with a normal factory uh, fan in there, so I don't know. I can see if this was like a high-end enterprise a prize uh, 48 port switch under like massive load the fans are just roaring but these SMB switches like the Unify should be quiet so there's my video um, big uh, thumbs up to Green Thumbs for sending me some SFP optics just to show you guys this is it right here 10 gig SFP modules they work perfect in this switch um, some other brands, here's a perfect example, um, what are these called, Finistar, Finistar that I have, if you put them in there, the switch just picks a shit, excuse my language, but it just does not like it at all, it does not like these SFP modules, um, I'm pretty sure I tested um, a Cisco cable with this to my um, Switch, if you want, I'll press that right now. I got a Cisco Copper SFP. I'll grab it and plug it in here and show you guys that working. So, we have a Copper 10 gig H10GB Copper SFP. You plug it into it. You won't get a light here. Won't be complaining. The light down below here is green, so we got connectivity. And if we give it about 35 seconds, maybe up to a minute, this cloud icon will go green, meaning that it can reach out to the internet, obviously. And uh, things are good, but I'm doing fiber in my rack. My messy rack right now, actually. I could put a link in the description below for the uh, green thumb optics. And uh, while we wait for that to go green, we should put a thumb on here. 
Because these guys are really good. Except for the stickers don't come off these things really easy, so... Maybe not that one. Sorry guys, I had to fast forward a little bit there because it took a little bit extra longer. I realized that I unplugged my pie hole, which does all my DNS for the house. But, we can see here that we got a Cisco cable. It's green, it's online, it's working, it's quiet, and I am happy now. I would definitely let people know that these are good. And hopefully HP sees this uh, video maybe one day and uh, they write the firmware for the fans to wrap up properly since it is a 4-pin fan. It's actually a decent fan. AVC makes really good fans. It's a 4-pin fan. But uh, it's just whiny and loud. So maybe if they write their firmware properly to uh, ramp up the fans under temperature, then uh, it'd be... A little bit easier for people to uh, just throw them into their uh, SMB networks for clients. That's for my uh, end of my video. Hopefully this helps out somebody and uh, highly recommend this. In fact, I just ordered another switch. Uh, the 8 port PoE uh, mini switch that they also make. And it's going to go under my desk over there. Hey guys, before I end the video here. Might be a little bit too late, but uh, I'll put it into the video. I took some of my plastic standoffs that I use for some of my circuit boards that I do. Just little quarter inch ones. They're just plastic. Sorry, it's not focusing right now, but they're just plastic uh, extensions. And I put one there and one there. Now the fan doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't move. So when I slide the case on, it will be proper. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.